grade 7 students and welcome to another art venture here in Valenzuela Live. It's me again, Ma'am Chesel Jean B. Paglinawan of Gente de Leon National High School, your art teacher for today. Before we begin, here are a few reminders that you need to observe in this learning engagement. First, be on time. Second, avoid unnecessary word in the comment box. Third, no hate speech. Fourth, stay focused on the lesson. Fifth, take down notes while listening or watching. And lastly, have fun and enjoy learning. I hope everyone will be guided by the reminders to ensure in order in our session. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to analyze elements and principles of the art in the production once art and crafts inspired by the arts of Mindanao. Second, identify characteristics of arts and crafts in specific areas in Mindanao. Third, reflect on the derived mood, idea, or message emanating from selected artifacts and art objects. Fourth, appreciate the artifacts and art objects in terms of its utilization and their distinct use of arts, elements, and principles. And last, incorporate the design, form, and spirit of the artifacts and objects from Mindanao to one's creation. Let's, let's play the jumbled letter games. Rearrange the anagram or jumbled letters to form the word or term that is being defined in each item. You will be given 20 seconds to type your answer in the comment section. Number 1. Be dressed in clothes of a specified kind. Timer starts now. Number two, a flexible material made by creating an interlocking network or yarns or threads. Timer starts now. The correct answer is textile. Number two, a form of textile art traditionally woven by hand on a loom. Timer starts now. The correct answer is tapestries. Number four, it is a pastime or a profession that requires skills and knowledge of skilled work. Timer starts now. The correct answer is crafts. Number five, a subordinate or supplementary part object or the like mainly for convenience, attractiveness, safety. Timer starts now. The correct answer is accessories. Number six, it involves body modification. It involves body modification, permanent, tattoos, 
branding, body piercing, body art. Timer starts now! The correct answer is body ornaments. The art or practice of designing and constructing building timer starts now. The correct answer is architecture. It is a branch of a visual art that operates in three dimensions. Timer starts now. Okay, the correct answer is culture. From what place can we find those arts and crafts revealed in the jumbled letter games? Correct, it is from Mindanao. Thank you for your participating. Now, let's dig in into the arts and crafts of Mindanao. Mindanao, referred to the land of promise, it is the second largest and southernmost island in the Philippine archipelago. Mindanao is composed of the following region, Tambuanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Davao Region, Toxargen Region, Caraga Region, and ARMM Region. Mindanao has also the largest concentration of ethno-linguistic groups and culturally diverse islands. These groups are mostly Muslims. Other groups are the Lumads or those who have maintain their indigenous beliefs and tradition instead of converting to Islam or Christianity. Early Filipino worship nature and believe that plants and imitate objects are home to ancestral spirits. They also believe that natural phenomena are caused by gods. This indigenous beliefs system is called animism. Let's proceed to the lesson number one. Attire, textiles, and tapestries. Number one, Pilaan is an ethno-linguistic group that is inhabits a part of South Cotabato, North Cotabato, and Davao del Sur. Pilaan is a combination of two words, Pila, which means house, and An, which means people. They are known for embroidery, brass ornaments, and beadworks that are integrated in their traditional clothing. The Pilaan wear clothes made from abaca with embellished embroidery buttons and beads. They also cut the mother of pearl into small shapes that look like sequins, called takmun, to form geometric patterns. Next is ikat. Pilaan weave highly polished abaca textile using ikat. It is a process of dyeing the fabric where the yarns are tightly wrapped with string and dyed before weaving. Pagobo Pagobos are the group of people that live in Davao. According to the anthropologists, the name of the ethno-linguistic group comes from the word pago, new, and obo, road. Tinalak is a woven from deep brown abaca in the process to obtain intricate design, only the women are allowed to weave this fabric. The men wear tinalak shorts and undershirt and tinalak coat. The Bagani, hero or warrior, wear blood red clothes and a headkerchief called tangkulo. These articles of clothing represent their courage. The women wear wrap around tinalak skirt and blouses. 
Their blouses are adorned with floral patterns, checkers, and paisley prints. It has short belts, sleeves, and waist area that holds right above the abdomen. They also wear row of belts around the waist and ankles that produce tickling sound when they walk. Tibuli, who live in around Lake Cebu, South Cotabato, are famous for their complicated beadwork, wonderful women fabrics, and beautiful brass ornaments. Tibuli, weavers themselves are used to stain these handspun abaha fibers. Lang Dulay, the famous Tibuli's dream weaver, who received the National Living Treasures, Dawat Manlilikha ng Bayan, the MAPA, Awarded by the National Commission for Culture and Arts (NCCA) in 1998, tinalak is a painstaking process that requires patience, a lot of creativity, good memory, and a range of skills learned from young age by the weavers. Men are not allowed to touch the materials used in the weaving process. The weavers are forbidden to mate with their husband during the time that the cloth is being woven. Similar to the Bagobos, they regard the tinalak as sacred. Traditional wedding rituals involve the exchange of this textile. Maranao means people of the lake. Referring to the people who occupy the land surrounding the Lake Lanao. They are famous for their artwork intricate weaving, wood carving, metal crafts, and their epics. Maranao are known for their malong. It is a traditional Filipino tube skirt that is made of hand-woven and machine-made multicolored cotton cloth, bearing a variety of geometric or floral design. The malong is similar to the sarong worn by the people in Malaysia. Brunei, and Indonesia. But unlike the sarong, the malong is longer and is stitched together at both ends to make a tube. Malong is an important part of Maranao life. Papa Malong Malong or Sambisa Malong demonstrate the various ways of wearing a malong and its uses. Yakan Their home is in Basilan. They are popular for their skills in weaving. They weave very intricate design in their textiles, which they use for their clothes and other accessories. Yakan hand loop fabrics are known for their use of bold colors and geometric patterns. Fabrics are traditionally used as garments. Teputangan is a square cloth used by the Yakan women as a head cover or as a belt. Majulapi, a tight blouse with long sleeves. It is an ornamented with gold, silver, and bronze button. Tawal is a traditional tight fighting trousers made of yakan fabric, characterized by its vertical stripes. Pinalantupan, a type of skirt is layered over the trouser. For lesson number two, we have crafts, accessories, and body ornaments. First, we have Sari Manok. It is a legendary bird of the Maranao. It comes from the word Sari, meaning cloth or garment, and Manok for chicken. It has become a significant symbol of Maranao art. It is depicted as a pole with colorful wings and feathered tail, holding a fish on its beak or talons. The head is profusely decorated with a scroll, leaf, and spiral motifs. It is said to be the symbol of good fortune. Second is okir. It is refers to the traditional and unique carvings and prominent to any design among the Moro ethnolinguistic communities. The name came from the old Malayan word which means Crave or ukit in Filipino. It is referred as okir in Maranao, while okil in Maguindanao. A new partner known for the okir motif has evolved from the Indian style bird-like and nagatim and the Islamic tradition of 
using flowing flowers, vines, and geometric pattern as well as local artisan style. Number three, face makeup and body ornaments. A distinct form of visual arts of the Yakan, it is a visual makeup applied on the brides and the grooms. After applying the foundation of white powder, dots and the line are painted in various patterns on the faces, creating the effects of the formal and elaborated mask which matches the ornate costume of the couple. The bride and groom wear different accessories. Wedding attire. For the male, we have peace, hand-woven head cloth worn as symbolic protection from spears and knives. And deep, 15 meter belt or sash made of gilim, a red cloth. Script that is believed to be bulletproof with Arabic script design prepared by imams and hajis. Female, short skirt over trousers. For both male and female, taru hat worn to add elegance. Ornaments Crocodile tooth necklace for fortune, triangular amulets with symbols wrapped in a black clothing against bullet, snake bones belts to guard from pain, manectigias as a necklace or bracelet of beads from dried fruit seed to protect from illness caused by the evil spirits. Maneximbulan, necklace or bracelet made of bamboo stem cut into a short pieces, serve as added protection. Functional article Pegupaan, bamboo container for chewing betel nut. Lutuan, a small bronze box with engraving carried at the waist. Next, we have Tivoli's accessories. Hilot and Suwalk Mimotis Hilot is a heavy brass belt worn by a woman during the festivals. The Tivoli's nobility wear it is bracelet and ankles, furnished with a ball earring that makes a sound as true wearer walks. Suwalk Mimotis A wooden comb with colored glass beads hanging from its worn toward the back of the head. Brass Making Kulintang it is a musical instrument composed of eight different sizes brass gongs laid upon the wooden rack. Gandam Two-headed cylindrical dams Wahanago Pair consisting of a buwa, a giant size gong. Pulakan A narrow-shaped knob gong. Now, let me see if you really listen to our discussion. Choose the letter of the correct answer, type your answer in the comment section, you only have 10 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. What do you call the famous Tivoli's dream weaver? A. Lang Dulot B. Lang Dilay C. Lang Dulay Or letter D. Lang Dalay Timer starts now. If your answer is letter C, you are correct. Number 2. It is an ethnolinguistic group that is inhabiting some part of South Cotabato, North Cotabato, and Davao del Sur. A. Bilaan B. Pagobo C. Tivoli Or letter D. Yakan Timer starts now. If your answer is letter A, you are correct. Number 3. It's demonstrate the various way of wearing a malong and its uses. A. Cape malong B. Kapa malong C. Kapa kapa malong Or letter D. Kapa malong malong Timer starts now.
If your answer is letter D, you are correct. Number 4. It is a legendary bird of Maranao. A. Ibong Adarna B. Sari Manok C. Sari Manok Or letter D. Aguila Timer starts now. If your answer is letter C, you are correct. And last, number five, it is refers to the traditional and unique carving among the Moro ethno-linguistic communities. A. Candit, B. Pegopaan, C. Tinalak, or letter D. Okir. Timer starts now. If your answer is letter D, you are correct. Congratulations. Keep it up. Mindanao is often depicted as a place of danger, hate, division, politics, and chaos. But to really see its beauty, one experience the Mindanao culture up. One experience the Mindanao culture brimming with life and colors. And once you've experienced the culture of Mindanao, you will love the land of promise as much you love the other region in the Philippines. For your performance task, you will try to create your own version of Sarimanok using paper and paint or colors. What are the materials needed? Any coraling materials, pencil, ball pen or pen, and band paper. For the procedure, Draw the image of Sari Manok on the band paper, scratch it with a ball pen, black or pencil pen, color the image using any coloring materials. Watch the short video clip on how to make Sari Manok.
are the rubrics. Elements of arts and principles of design, that is 20%. Creativity and originality, 30%. Effort and perseverance, 30%. Craftsmanship, skills, and consistency, that is 20%, the total of 100%. Enjoy crafting, kids! I hope you have learned something from our discussion. Once again, this is Mom Jessel Jean Pipaglinawan. See you in another art venture here in Valenzuela Life. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye!